Continuing with electrochemistry, let's learn how to balance a redox reaction. And this video is going to focus on how to balance a redox reaction in acidic medium. Balancing redox reactions in acidic medium. The first step is you separate the redox reaction into two half reactions. Then balance the reaction for atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. After that, balance for oxygen by adding water. Then balance for hydrogen by adding H part. Then after doing the, the first four steps, now balance the charges by adding electrons. And after you do that, see that the two half reactions have same number of electrons. So if needed, multiply one of the equation by an appropriate number. After that, add the two equations. You will see that you will have the uh, balanced redox reaction. And the steps 1 to 7 has to be followed in the order written. And these are followed for balancing a redox reaction in acidic medium. Now let us apply the, all the steps for balancing the equation given. HA plus HNO3 giving iodine plus NO. This is a redox reaction in acidic medium. So the first step is to separate them into half reaction. So I can see that HA is getting converted into iodine and this process is oxidation. How do I know it is oxidation? If you look at the oxidation number of I changes from negative 1 to 0. And this is oxidation. And for your reference, the number line is also given below. And then uh, the other redox, uh, half reaction is HNO3 becoming NO where the oxidation number of nitrogen changes from positive 5 to positive 2. And this is reduction and uh, refer to the number line and uh, it will be more clear to you. Let's proceed further and see what and apply all the other steps. Step 2 is to balance a reaction for atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So I have to just add 2 HA to balance the IV. And then in the second equation, there's nothing to be balanced, so just leave it as is. So the step three is, I need to balance the oxygen by adding water. So the first reaction, there is no oxygen, so this doesn't uh, apply. For the second half reaction, I added two water to the product side to balance the number of oxygen. Then the step four is to balance the hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions. So the first half reaction, I add 2 H positive and then uh, for the second half reaction, I add 3 H positive. So the step 2, 3 and 4 balances other ele uh, elements other than oxygen and hydrogen, balances oxygen and balances hydrogen. Remember, oxygen is balanced by adding water, hydrogen is balanced by adding H positive. Let's proceed on to step 5 in which we balance the charge. So we need to add electrons. In the first half reaction, I've added two electrons to balance the two H positive. And in the second half reactions, I added three electrons to balance the three H positive. So after this, the step six, I need to, I see that there are two electrons in uh, equation one and two, three in the uh, second half reactions. Therefore, multiply the first half reaction by three and the second half reaction by 2. And that results in the new equation, 6HA giving you 3I2 plus 6H positive plus 6 electrons. And the second half reaction, after multiplying by 2, given as written. And uh, you see that the number of electrons becomes 6 in both the cases. So now add the two, electron, uh, two equations. The 6 electrons will get cancelled and will result in the final equation. 6HA plus 2HNO3 giving you 3 iodine plus 2NO plus 4 water. And if you just do a final check to see that all the atoms are balanced. 